Mm, right. Oh. Hi, this is Tanner, Rizza, and Willa. In March of 2021, we left on a plane from America to live in Germany, a country that we had never stepped foot in before. With so many cultures, religions, landscapes, and foods to discover, we had a goal to live internationally and learn more about the world, specifically Europe. Now we've lived in Germany for 10 months and it's time to celebrate New Year's Eve. Like Christmas, we are trying to implement new German cultures and traditions into our lives. Watch us as we eat a Berliner, watch the famous television program Dinner for One, and even try Bleigiesen, an old New Year's Eve custom of fortune telling by pouring melted candle wax into cold water and reading the shapes created. Happy New Year! Almost. When you guys watch this video. <laughs> it will be for sure, but we are just getting ready for our celebratory evening, which isn't going to be a whole lot, but it's going to be fun just enjoying time with the three of us and we're enjoying the last little bit of the weather for this year and surprisingly we got some sun which kind of was weird we didn't realize how little sunny days you would get here during the winter time yeah. Like when it was sunny, we're like, open all the windows, put our plants in front of the light. And like all of a sudden, like three cars started parking up close to a hill and we just saw people out walking with like their, you know, Nordic trekking sticks. And so you can tell everyone really tries to take advantage of the sun when it's out. Yeah, it felt really nice to get that sunshine and hopefully we'll get some more of that here once the new year starts. Absolutely. Tonight we know a lot of people are having a lot of fun because we couldn't find any sparklers anywhere. Yes. To be fine. Where did we find those? We thought Willow would love them. To be honest though, the stores were closing at the time we were starting to look. We we did our own little shopping and so maybe you kind of missed the mark on it. But we did check in Coughland and where else? Teddy mm -hmm. and Kick and a lotto store and they were all out. None. So. Where do we find those? We heard that fireworks are a big deal here in Germany with COVID. We've also heard that there's restrictions on that for this year, but we were just gonna do some little sparklers. In this video, we're gonna be celebrating New Year's Eve or Silvester, as it's known here in Germany. We're gonna be cooking some of our own foods, some of our own favorites that we've had lately, and then as well, watching dinner for one, of course, and welcoming in the new year. Yes, and don't forget about the Berliner. We're gonna show you guys how we're celebrating it tonight. We're trying to grasp on to more German cultures and traditions. Where are we going? Spielplatz. Spielplatz, hi! Let's go look at the sunset! What colors do you see? It's so cool! It is cool! This is our view of the sunset from inside. So we're going to be doing something called Bleigießen, which is an interesting New Year's Eve German tradition. So basically it's you put the lead on a spoon over a candle flame until it melts and then you pour it into water. Depending on the shape of it, that's like the prediction for the future of the next coming year. So it's kind of like this fortune telling thing. Sounds super unique, definitely something we are gonna try. Even for Willow, we are gonna do a little candle wax. That's the alternative nowadays because the effects and the dangers of lead are known. It's common to find tin kits in supermarkets from what we've heard or different stores you can find them. And a lot of other alternatives are just melting the candle wax into the agua as well. A lot of these kits come with like a shape pouring guide. So depending on the shape, it predicts what that means. So we're looking at a website here. If it's like the shape of a ball, it can mean that luck will roll your way. If it's the shape of a frog, which is unique, that's the lottery win. So I'm hoping that mine's a frog shape. Guitar is a wish. Willis, <laughs> Willis caught our water. We're not gonna have any water for this candle wax. Good thing we have more of it. What's happening? Do you see the candle wax melting? Oh. 
What's the shape, Willa? Whoa, what is it, Willa? House. Is it a house? It broke. Oh no. I know. Let's see, you had a house? You said it's a house? A house. Your ventures will go well. Well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's Willa. That's a good sign, Willa. Good job. Let's watch it all in once. <laughs> and Daddy, oh my gosh, mine has like a thin layer on the top that's just like. <laughs> looks yeah. weird. Looks like, um, what is yours? You got a couple flowers around. Oh my gosh, that looks like a ring. It does look like a ring or like a hook. Like a shrimp. That looks oh like my a shrimp. Gosh, that's that a baby like shrimp. <laughs> Like a shrimp or like a, a wave? Looks like an ocean looks wave. Like a curling wave. That's kind of cool. Ooh. Which one do we think it looks like the most? I kind of think shrimp. from here. Yeah, it does look like a shrimp. We're gonna go with the shrimp. Fish, people are talking about you. Apparently, yeah. What are you guys saying about me? Daddy's gonna do his. Here we go. You have like a weird piece of something in yours. Oops, got a little black. <laughs> Speckled. Well. Oops, don't do that either. Ooh. Oh no. Ah. We're ruining the table over here. No mess! Yeah, we had a mess. Almost a big uh oh. <laughs> Where it's we thought our uh -oh. table was getting burned. Hey. So, what do you think it is, Willa? It is. What is it? A house? A house? <laughs> Again? From the top, it kind of looks like a mushroom. <laughs> oh wow! Hey, what's it? Weird. Almost like a like an animal head over here, but then. Do you think it looks like an elephant? Maybe, kind of like there, a little trunk maybe. Yeah, Oh, there's like a little hole there that makes it look like a face, like a goat face. Uh. Ah. <laughs> hmm. I thought that's what you were doing. What do you think? I don't know. Probably whatever this is. We gotta come up with something. Like the face up here looks like a goat face. The ear, the eye, and the nose. Oh, I can see it actually. There is no goat. Well, when I think of goat, I think of goat cheese, goat milk, or the goat video that went viral with Taylor Swift. <laughs> so maybe it'll go viral. No, we'll call it a camel. Because that's the closest animal that I've seen on this one. Okay. Which means new duties. It means what? New duties. Oh, new. I thought you said nude. I was like, yeah. new to duties? 2022 is going to be a good one. Watch a show. Watch a show. Watch a show. She's starting to get into this age, you guys. So we actually were able to snack a couple sparklers from some friends of ours. Here we go, we're gonna light it off with Willa. Yay! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! She's like, mmm. Woo! Mmm! So while we were cooking dinner, we completely forgot that we had fondue ready for the evening. Neither of us are really ready for it tonight, so we're gonna push that off for probably tomorrow. Also, we're about to whip these babies out, so hence why the fondue is taking second place right now. Yeah. Is because we got ourselves some Berliners or... Bellina? I don't know. Is that the right way to pronounce it? These were flying off the shelves where we were at Coughlin today. Mm -hmm. Everyone was grabbing a couple, so we're pretty excited. I'm not even really sure which ones are which. We have one that's a sugar glaze mm -hmm. and one that is powdered sugar on the outside, so they smell incredible. Though. And there was like that weird egg an alcohol version, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, there was like an Eier liquor that was one of the options and it had like a frosting, a yellow and black frosting on top. So we're not really sure about that, but it was a it was the same shape as the Berliners. Yeah, this anyway. is the other one, powdered sugar. We are going to cut this up, taste a little bit of each. Yeah, just bite it, cut it up. Okay, you're just right. Go for it. <laughs> mm, right. Oh. Get in the inside because it has jelly. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. That's a nice gem. 
That's like not even jelly. That's like jam. That is sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised, and it was much better than I thought because I typically don't like the marmalade type fillings, but that was good. That's a very sugary. I'll take the first bite this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> close, but not close enough. Oh, this one's like a darker jam. Mm. I thought it was Nutella at first, but I was really excited and I'm a little let down. <laughs> Don't like the jam in this one as much. Mm -mm. Not nearly as sweet, but also I can't decide what it is. Either way, mm. both really fun though. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of the sugared coated. It's mm -hmm. fun to taste both. I enjoy them. These are good. Like the dough is also really, really good. Now we're going to make our way over to the couch and watch Dinner for One. Which we've heard this became famous when the German TV channels basically just like put this in as a filler in Hamburg. Actually, we heard it was in Hamburg where they started that. And then soon it just like took place and now it's a tradition. So we're excited that it's an English for one and to see what the hype is all about. By the way, the same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie? The same procedure as every year, James. The same procedure <laughs> as every year, James. And the sherry. Trip down, I guess. <laughs> it keeps disturbing. <laughs> That's like oh, three times already. Keeps stepping over that tiger. <laughs> God. What did you think? Very silly. Yeah. Short film. Yeah, I mean, it. Kind of a funny laugh. Obviously, interesting to see just like how far filmmaking has come yeah. since then, but kind of funny. Made us laugh a little bit here and there. So it's fun to be able to take part in what a lot of you guys do here in Germany. Yeah, absolutely. Like being away from family, it's not the same traditional where, you know, we just have all of our family to be around. And so being able to hear about different traditions like raclette and fondue, um, you know, we improvise with the candle wax this year rather than tin, the tin, right? Was that tin? Yeah, it used to be lead, now it's be lead, tin, now tin, or you know, candle, still. Or, or candle, yeah, but yeah. those things have been a lot of fun and have been kind of like a, a fun way for us to just try new things, so. Yeah, I feel like this is actually, I was telling Tanner earlier, like, this holiday is one that I'm finding myself missing family a bit, and it's probably because we did Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, here in Germany with just the three of us, and maybe it's just, like, another one without family, and it's starting to get to me. I don't know, but typically back in the States, we were spending our New Year's Eve with family. We have a lot of food. Typically, there's, like, a chip and dip. Shrimp and cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. A lot of finger food, so my mom will do what are called like sliders. Ham and cheese <laughs> roll sandwich type things. They're like a lot of sweet and savory mixture. Kind of like a Super Bowl kind of type. Yeah, honestly, for us. yeah, very similar. Yeah. That's what my family will do. There's always games involved. And same with Tanner's. Maybe a movie. Yeah, or but, two. Most, but most of the time the TV was only on during the countdown, you know, yeah. which obviously for Utah, two hours behind the East Coast. It was always, you know, just the reruns and the replays. So it's been interesting. Yeah, like, like yeah. we'll be celebrating it tonight for the first time without watching or hearing like the countdown live from New York City. We always would do that. And it's just weird to think we're even six hours ahead of New York. That's okay. It was fun to, again, embrace the new, the change and make our own fun new memories to remember. Absolutely. So here's to the new year, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year!